Hi, my name is Dave Woolman. I'm from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and I'm here today to walk through an introduction to Green Button in support of the Department of Energy's Apps for Energy competition. I'm going to talk through an introduction to Green Button as well as give some overview information and dive into some technical details. As I go through this presentation here, there are slides that accompany this and go into greater detail about the various parts of Green Button we're going to talk about. These slides are available at energy.gov slash developer. First, I want to start with the whole U.S. government support for Smart Grid. The Department of Energy is the lead agency in the Smart Grid, and NIST, as an agency within the Department of Commerce, works with many other federal agencies to further Smart Grid. We work together in the Smart Grid Task Force, and we also work very closely with the regulators, both at the federal level and the state level. And this whole collection is designed to help accelerate and promote and support the use of Smart Grid throughout the industry. There's an important standards component to the Smart Grid work, Within the Energy Independence and Security Act, NIST was given primary responsibility to coordinate the development of standards, a framework of standards to support the smart grid. And here we work together with our other federal agency partners and this information and input can be used by them for a variety of purposes. In addition, this Congressional Act is supported by administration policy with both the smart grid as well as other standards work in the health space and cloud computing. There's been a more engaged federal presence on standards and this has been uh, helped and supported by some high-level policy memos supporting the use of standards to address national priorities. On the policy side, this is supported by the administration policies to support the use of standards to address national priorities. This role for NIST is consistent with NIST being the standards coordinator for the federal government as called out by the National Tech Transfer and Advancement Act. One of the ways that NIST has worked with industry to support smart grid standards and testing is through the development of the smart grid interoperability panel. This public-private partnership was created in November 2009 and has many different member organizations and provides an open process with international participation to coordinate and accelerate standards development. This group has been quite helpful in supporting the standards needed to help the smart grid. Now let's get into what is the green button. It's the common sense idea that electricity customers should be able to download their own energy usage information in a consumer and computer friendly format. It was initiated through a White House call for action and has been implemented from by early adopters in California and the movement is spreading. It was happened very quickly. Uh, Nish Chopra, the former CTO of the US, issued a challenge to industry in September of 2011 and working together with first adopters in California, as well as with support from the Department of Energy, NIST, the Office of Science and Technology Policy, and other federal agencies, we've made great progress in supporting the implementation of Green Button in a very timely fashion. In January of 2012, we celebrated the first adopters in California, their launch of the Green Button as it went live, uh, with both OSTP, the Department of Energy, and NIST. So we're delighted that such great progress has been made and with that initial first adopters we've since been able to get many more other utilities and vendors to sign on to commit to implement Green Button. So what is Green Button data good for? Here are a variety of things that we feel that are possible with Green Button. The basic premise is that Freeing up that data will empower consumers and spur innovation. This can be used for many different things. For starters, it gets you insight into the energy usage to give you actionable information to make decisions from. In addition, you can think of it as being useful in heating and cooling to optimize the uh, and customize your heating and cooling activities. Uh, for educating the community, it's a great way to engage communities about their energy use. As decisions are made on retrofits, it will help to support improved decision making. If you look at all sorts of other uh, applications, there's a role for energy usage information to support these applications. We've already had a lot of positive feedback on Green Button. If you look at some of what people are saying based on even the early implementations, this is viewed as a positive way for utilities to engage with their customers. 
For example, here are some quotes that are given. It may finally give consumers a reason to care about the smart grid. So that's pretty good as far as uh, an initial uh, implementation. And what we want to do is support Green Button on through into wider deployment and through the Apps for Energy competition, enable additional uh, uh, innovation in the types of web apps that we can uh, imagine for Green Button data. So that wraps up the intro section to this presentation. And in the next section, we'll go into more details about the Green Button and overview the entire program.